are learning more about a budget crisis in another local school district. All extracurricular activities and sports are currently on the chopping block for the schools in Dighton and Rehoboth. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima joins us from outside the high school with details on one more effort to save the programs. It's new at 530. Everything from sports and music to clubs and even prom is canceled because of this $1 million budget deficit. A vote slated to happen next month will either seal this fate or reverse it. Summer is supposed to be stress-free, but not for students in Dighton and Rehoboth. They have a lot to lose. Football is my life. Coming off a Super Bowl appearance, Jaron Ramos is supposed to be the starting running back for the football team, but a budget crisis has those plans in jeopardy. My plans is to stick it out as long as I can, and you know, if we absolutely will not have football at DR, I'm going to have to transfer because I can't stay out of school where I won't have sports because that'll crush my whole college dreams. Dighton voters have agreed to fund the school budget, while Rehoboth voters have not. This is forcing a so-called tent meeting where residents from both towns will vote. The majority will rule. Rachel Dingus is the vice chairwoman of the school committee. We're not asking for a Taj Mahal here. A 1.32 percent increase, which is less growth than an inflation. Dingus says the average tax increase for a Rehoboth household would be about $20 a month. This is more than a budget crisis. This is a childhood crisis. Jesse Bierman is one of the leaders of Save Our Schools, a group made up of students, parents and staff. I think a lot of kids everywhere are pretty heartbroken. It is the role of adults to provide for their children not just your children, but the children in your community. Both towns voters will have to fill this event and vote for education. That's all we can really ask. And this is our future. If it doesn't pass in a vote next month, the State Department of Education will take over the budget on December 1st. Reporting in Dighton, I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.